Right then, let's have a look at how to play the cool and raunchy opening solo to Hot Legs by Rod Stewart and Billy Peak. Uh, there's not a name that you don't hear too often, uh, Billy Peak. One of those unsung guitar players for, you know, the major artists who, uh, whose name is on the marquee. You know, Paul McCartney's guitar player, Elton John's guitar player, Rod Stewart's guitar player. You know, nobody knows who these guys are. Not a whole lot of people know who these guys are. The real unsung guitar heroes of the 70s. And Billy Peak, he was one of them. And this is a great opening solo. And, uh, you know, if there's some interest in this video, uh, maybe we'll have a look at the main solo to this one which is also a killer guitar solo also by Billy Peak and uh, you know if you're interested in uh, having a look at the main solo to this one drop a comment down below we get enough comments we get enough likes and views of this video maybe we'll have a look at it but uh, let's have a look at this one for now the intro solo it's a good 40 45 second long solo and uh, we're soloing in G major uh, this is basically a blues solo right starts in D moves to C Resolves into G. And the whole solo is pretty much in G, except for when we're starting in D and moving to C, we're doing some unison bend work. And uh, we're soloing in the G major pentatonic, uh, but we're soloing mostly in the 12th fret position of the G major pentatonic, which is also the same as the E minor pentatonic. <laughs> Same notes as the G major pentatonic, but at the 12th fret position. Better for blues playing. And uh, But while we're in D, where it starts in D, we're going to start with this. That's the first little lick. 17th fret of the B string, full step bend. On the upstroke, we're catching the 17th of the high E. And you're just letting those notes ring together, nice and loose. So you're going to do that six times, but the sixth time, sixth time, you're not going to go back to the high E. You're just going to go back to that note at the 17, which is bent at on the uh, 17 of the B. And we're, then we're going to drop into this little double stop here. 14 of the G, 15 of the uh, B string. Going to hit that twice and then hammer on to 16 of the G, and then back off, hitting both strings together. Kind of like that. Right? And now, at, at this point, he moves down to C, the little blues progression there. We're going to do the exact same thing, but two frets lower. But we're only going to do that three times this time before moving into the double stop. Same pattern, double stop. This time we're on the 12, 13 of the G and the B. You're gonna hit it twice, hammer on to 14, back off to the double stop. Same thing we did earlier from the beginning. Right? So that is the opening. Shift down here to the eights and the tens. And then play that. Eight of the B. Grab the ten. You can get this like a unison bend. And then back, uh, give that ten a bend. And then back to the eight of the B. And then you're going to bend that ten, release it off to eight, and finish on the uh, ten of the D string with, I think, a double hit. Kind of like that. And then we're into this. A lot of double stop work going on here. Unison bend here, 14 of the G, 15 of the B string. And then you're gonna you're gonna give that a double pump. Release it off to the double stop on the 12th of the G and the B. And then you're gonna grab the 14 of the D. Now we're going to go off to a double stop on the 12 of the D and the G. Hammer back onto the 14. Back down to the double stop of the G and the B, which you're holding with your index. Just basically barring from the D on down. Back to the 
keying of the D, and then back off to the double stop on the D and the G. Back onto the 14, and then back off to the double stop. And that's that lick. Right? Back into this again. And uh, so you're going to do another double pump of that, 14 and 15. Back, and then release it back to the natural note at 14. And then while you're still holding your, your pinky on the 15, you're going to release it off to the, uh, the uh, 12 of the G. Jump back onto the 14, give it a full step bend. And then you're, you're going to kind of double time your picking while you're slowly releasing that bend. And then you release it off to the double stop on the D and the G. So that's that section. Right? You can do that little down, up, down, up, down, up when you're releasing that. I like to do it all down strokes. One more time. And now we're into the, uh, the melodic little section. That little section there, which we're going to repeat twice. All in the 12s and 14s of the D and the G. So 12, 14, then 12, 14. A little bend release at the 14 of the G, back off to 12. Back on the 14, back off to 12. Back onto 14 for a bend, catch the 15 of the B string, and then re-bend that 14. And when you get that up there and let it sit, you add a little vibrato. Again. Now, there's two guitars going on here. One is playing the octave lower. Right there at the neck. Exact same thing, just a, an octave lower as this. Right? So that's repeated twice, and then we're into this. Nice slow bend at 15 of the B string. And then you're going to catch the 15 of the high E. We're going to release that bend back to the natural note. And then you're going to bend it, release it again. And then you give it one final bend, nice slow release. And then you're going to grab 14, bend it, and release it off to 12 of the G. Back on to 14, back off to 12. That finishes that lick. Right? Now we're going to grab a double stop at the 14s of the G and the B. Little double pump, staccato. Do it twice. One more. And then you're going to release it, double stop on 14 off to 12, grab the 14 of the D, back to the double stop at the 12, twice, one more, kind of like that, right, and that ends that little phrase. Now, we're going to move up to the 17 of the B string. we're going to play that little lick. You're going to start with a couple of mutes, a little down-up mute without pressing down on the string, and then you're going to drop onto the note and then give it a full step slow bend. 
and then you're going to grab the 17 of the high E, hit it twice, right back into a bend at 17 of the B. Now drop down to the 17 of the high E, give it a two or three hits, uh, two I think, and then you're going to bend it. And then roll up to the 17 of the B, give that a bend release off to 15. And then back on the 17, back off to 15. So that's that lick. One more time. And then we're finishing up the solo. So we're grab jumping back here, grabbing the 14 of the G for bend. Down to sk string skipping down to the 12 of the high E and then off to 15 of the B. And then 14 bend release off to 12 of the G. And then pull off 14 to 12 and grab 14 of the D. Right? Double stop, 12, 13, G and B. Hit it twice and then off to the double stop of the, 12 thir or of the 12s of the G and the B. And that's the end of the solo. And you can slide out of that. And that's the solo. That's how you play it. So let's run through it nice and slow from the beginning and then we'll be done. And there you have it. That is how you play the very slick intro solo to Hot Legs by Billy Peak and Rod Stewart. I certainly uh, hope you found that helpful. And if it did, uh, if you did find that helpful, please uh, hit that like button and, uh, you know, drop me a subscribe if you have not done that already, as that would be awfully nice. Hit that notification bell, wherever that is. Don't know where it is, but it's around there somewhere, so you know when I upload something new. And I uh, hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may find you. And we will see you next time. Cheers.